Hi, welcome to my first video on uh, conics. It's the uh, circle. With the circle in the conic section. Uh, when we say conics, we mean could be described as coordinate geometry, where we're going to derive the equation of a circle in standard form, center radius form. And again, emphasize it's the conics section on circles. A circle is a set of points which is the same distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is the center of the circle and the distance from the center to the point on the circle is the radius. Hence, the distance formula can be used to describe or define the equation on a circle. So let's pick up a point on this here and pick up this point right here. So normally we will call this point x1, y1, and this point x2, y2. But when we're doing the equation of a circle, we'll let x1, y1 be the center, which is h comma k, and we'll let this point be x comma y. So we have a circle. So to draw this circle, I'm going to use a compass. Or should I say, let me do that after. What I'm now going to do is set up a right triangle perpendicular downward and a horizontal line. And this is the distance. This is the center of the circle. This is the radius from a point on the center. This is the point on the circumference. There's the perpendicular on the triangle. And now I'm going to draw the circle. So oh, I'm going to use the protractor to do that. Protractors will draw the circle. So notice the distance. Get all the way around there. And so notice I have the center is h comma k, which is the center of the circle. Now, we want to have this distance is the radius of the circle from the center to the point on the circle. So the distance formula is d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared add on y2 minus y1 squared. We practice that in the coordinate geometry section. And what we have now is that x2 is the x, x2 is the x, x1 is the h, x2 is the x, x1 is the h, y2 is y, and y1 is the k. So we have the distance. Now that distance is denoted as the radius. So it's x minus h all squared, y minus k all squared. Now that we have, in terms of the radius, let's square both sides. So we get r being squared. And we get the root of the right side being squared. takes the time to write it down. And so when we take r and square it, we get r squared. And the square of the square root is just what's inside of the square root. And so the equation is x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to r squared. So r is the radius and the squared. So notice this is the standard form. So that's the standard form. And I call it the center radius because the standard form gives you the center and the radius. It's the standard form of a circle. So let's just write that down again. It's x minus h all squared 
y minus k l squared equals r squared, where the center is h comma k. Notice the center, the coordinates is the opposite of what we have here, negative h, h, negative k, k, and r is the radius, which we have to do the square root of. So find the center and the radius of each and let's graph them. Okay, here we have an equation, x minus 1 all squared, y minus 3 all squared equals 4. So the center, I'm going to say c, the center is opposite of negative 1 is a 1, opposite of plus 3 is a minus 3, that's the center. Remember, just think about it this way, if you put a 1 here, it would make this a 0. If you put a negative 3 in the place of y, you'll make that a 0. So what happens, you have the radius is on the end, r squared is equal to 4, so the square root of r squared is plus minus the square root of 4, so r is equal to plus minus 2, but r has to be 2, a radius can't be negative. So let's take the protractor and put it at the point 1, negative 3, and here's 1, negative 3 right here. And we got a radius of 2. So the radius is 2. So there's 1. So if I open up the protractor, put it down right here. So there you see it. I'm going to open it up. So the, between the protractor, there you see it. I made the distance 2. So I bring it back to the center. And now I draw my circle. So... I'm using the protractor just to draw a better circle, that's all. I didn't do that so much in trig, but I'm doing it here. So there's a circle. And let's continue to the next page. If I can turn it over here. Okay, there we go. Now, we have a, an equation x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 9. And the center c... Notice there's no bracket here. There's no more x to the center here is 0 because this is understood to be x minus 0 squared. y minus 2 squared. And notice that 9, you could say 9 is 3 squared if you want. So the set, this is 0 is the center for x and the center for y is 2. And radius, again, r squared is 3 squared. So r is three. Again, we can do the square root like we did before. The square root of r squared is plus minus the square root of nine, and r equals plus minus three. But remember, the radius can't be negative. It's always positive, even though r squared is nine. There's two possible answers, but the radius can only be positive. And so the center is zero, two, x is zero, y is two, and the radius is 3. So I just used the protractor again. I'm going to do a radius of 3 this time. So I'm going to put my tip of my protractor there, expand it out. So I'll let you see it. Because my camera, here it is. There's three distance. One, two, three. So I put that at the center, which is 0, 2. And I draw my circle. And everything is not perfect, it's not drawn to scale, but hopefully you can see what I'm trying to get at. Because if, if, if you did this, it should have passed through right here with a radius of 3, and right here. So, it's not exactly perfect. And another one, we have x minus, x plus 4 all squared, plus y plus, x plus 4 all squared, add on y plus 2 all squared equals 10. So that means the center is opposite of plus 4 is a minus 4. Opposite of plus 1 is a minus 1. And r squared this time equals 10. So r equals the square root of 10. And the square root of 10 
is around 3 point something. So if I take the calculator and do the square root of 10, just turn on my calculator, square it. I'm going to do the square root of 10. And the square root of 10 can't be simplified. So it's around 3.16, so 3.2. So the square root of 10 as a decimal, if you want to, the exact answer is root 10. But as a decimal, in order to plot it, is 3.16, I believe. Yes, so we could say 3.2 rough, roughly. So if the circle is, let's just cross it over your vision there. Again, the center is negative 4, x is negative 4, oops, x is negative 4, I better go this way, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, negative 1 right there, and 3.2, so 3.2, I expanded it with a little bit beyond 3, a little tiny, there's 3 right there, so go a little bit more, like that around there, don't have to be exact. So here's a circle, approximately, not exactly. We're only just trying to, so there's the circle I have drawn. Okay. Now, practice means pause the video and see if you can do these answers yourself. Find the center of the circle in each and graph, but I only want, I only want the graph number one. So the center of this circle, C, the center is, that's negative 3, that's a plus 3. And Y, there's no bracket on the Y, so it's a 0. Y squared, no more Y. And the radius, R squared, is equal to 4. So R is equal to 2. Plus minus, if you want to solve it with a quadratic, but it can't be negative. So the center is X is 3, Y is 0 right here. And the radius is 2. And we use, we get a radius of 2. So we put it right there. And we close this up. To come right down here. Close. Remember, we're close. So there's the radius of 2. And we draw our, oops, see, even though I dropped it down, I made it very, now, there it is. Now, I'm going through. right off. When I did the first one here, I had a little bit big. So there's the radius of 2. There's the radius of 2. Notice it's 2 here and it's 2 here. So if you go vertical, from the center you get 2. You go down from the center, vertical, you get 2. You go horizontal to the right, you get 2 radius. If you go horizontal left, you get a 2 radius. Okay, let's continue. We have x plus 2 all squared, add on y plus 3 all squared is 36. So the center, opposite of plus 2 is a minus 2. And the opposite of plus 3 is a minus 3. And r squared equals 36. Again, I'll just go through. r square root of r squared is plus minus the square root of 36. So r is plus minus 6. But really, the radius can only be 6 because it can't be negative. And we didn't have to graph this one. And in this one, number 3, the center, x is 0, y is negative 8, and r squared is equal to 12. So the square root of r squared is plus minus the square root of 12. So r is plus minus, and the square root of 12 is the same as the square root of 4 times 3. Square root of 4 is 2, so that's 2 root 3. So the radius for this one is positive, so it's 2 root 3. And again, if you do a calculator, you look at a decimal. And the decimal is only needed if you, if you go to graph it. So that's the review of uh, the equation of a circle. That's the first video on the uh, unit in conics on circles and we went over the standard form. And hopefully you enjoyed my video. And if you did, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, visit my math website, www.mathforexplained.com. 
to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's on my YouTube channel, Tom Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye bye.